I posted something on Rose Roast um, on the webpage that Samantha I needs to make a retraction because she's as ba she's about as uh, solid in her information, her intel, if you will, as Sean Spicer. Go on. Listen, TMZ, I'm not. Mm. Um, Their sources are secure. I see the written word and I just put it on the line for other people to look at. I'm just spreading knowledge. True or false, I don't know yet. And nor do you out, care. Nor do I care. Mm. But I do want my fans, our fans, to um, be as knowledgeable as I am in the moment, despite its um, validity. Go ahead. And here we are in the present. Now, for those of you that are not aware of our Rose Rose Facebook page, why? Yeah, why? The link is down below. Easy as pie. Uh, One click away. I mean. I mean, sure, we make you subscribe, mm. as you should. But with all the... But, go ahead. No, you go ahead. I mean, <laughs> you want some fake news. Who knew that Rose Rose was your source? <laughs> here we are. Here we are. Now go ahead, spread your news. So, uh, here I was, mm -hmm. thinking that... Rachel? Rachel would be the next Bachelorette. <laughs> it was on ABC News. How strongly did you believe that she would be the next Bachelorette? I want to say 115 percent. Can I just tell you where my headset was? Please. My mindset? 100%. My headset. Headset and mindset. Um, you know, like I came out of yesterday, it's like Beyonce was robbed, I know it, you know it, Adele knows it. We all know it. The world isn't right. And then you told me that Rachel was going to be the Bachelorette. The first black Bachelorette. Mm -hmm. History. History. It's Black History Month! Uh, it has to be real. Wait. Remember our first season? Just to go back to our first season of Rose Roast. Black History Month is when they sent every black person home. You're absolutely right. Did they hear us chirp them and think, how can we fix this? Or how can we one-up? that last yeah, Black lie. History Month snap, snub. <laughs> we'll and it's you. by get, planting the seed that the next Bachelorette was black. And then pouring and then, acid all over it. And then just tearing the rug right from under our feet and leaving <laughs> us Pulling winded. those roots out. <laughs> so, touche. Do you want to apologize for what you've done? For what you've permeated into I'm the sorry. zeitgeist? Listen, I Don't will fast up for I'm sorry. Thank you. Hard to do. But yeah, I, I mean, I definitely apologize. From now on, I will honestly probably keep on posting things that may or may not be real. <laughs> and with that, this is Rose Roast. Welcome. Welcome. So here's what I have to say. Every episode, we'll just go to the end. Every episode, they end with no rose ceremony and play it off as if it's new. And I, I have to haven't say, seen, is there a rose shortage? Uh, like, why are we skipping this? They're like, we actually only have one for the episode. Truly, like... Are roast ceremonies even on the menu anymore? No. Let's just cut the shit. We are transported to Bimini. Bimini. Who's Did ever we, heard of it? Who's ever heard of this? And Not Bachelor I. Nation knew that that wasn't a place that people have ever been to, so literally they the screen. Never stop saying that Bimini was where they're going. If you want to play a drinking Bimini. game, Bimini. Bimini. Drink every time. Either the show or we say Bimini. Bimini. You're wasted. You'll be plastered. And I've never heard of it. They're like, show us a map of the ocean. We're like. Don't see it. And they're like, zoom. <laughs> and we're like, still don't got it. They're like, okay, so see Bahamas. Zoom, 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 zoom. There it is, that pinprick. That's an island. Um, and it's a really small place with one bar, one house, an ocean, and you just got to make do. Yep. Um, we go on a yacht for the first time mm. for in Vanessa's life. Mm -hmm. Extremely boring. There's a lot of talk about what will and won't happen. Who will go to a hometown? Quebec is far away, but he's willing to make the journey. They end up at dinner. She's wearing this wrap. It's a Can khaki. I an olive. Strong khaki. A strong neutral. She never strays away. At first I was like, this could be cute, and then the lighting shifted to what the true colors were, and I was like, oh, fuck. If I were to ever step foot in Bimini, I would dress say. the part, okay? I know what to wear and what not to wear in Bimini. I mean, there's people abound. The population's gotta be at least a couple bill, and <laughs> I gotta look the part. It's for the not many. <laughs> Two, three dozen people. <laughs> It's gotta be a handful of people, a couple of kids <laughs> playing basketball. You call yourself an oh, island. Oh, God. So the kicker is that she says that she's in love with him, and he responds with a very long-winded way of saying... I was lost. Like, I was like, we, so you do... Don't reciprocate. You don't feel good. She held it together slightly. And it, it's not realistic. It's the most unrealistic thing I've ever heard in my life. He's like, I love twice. And I want a love that is unprecedented. Okay. Drinking every time he says love during that speech will get you black out. For sure. Bimini like, alone will uh, be hospital loose in out. no time. Yeah. Um, so anyways, the long-winded thing that basically said he was just like, we'll fucking see. Yeah. And then she was just like looking down, a hair blowing in the wind, sun-kissed, 
slightly perspiring, looking beautiful. Quite dewy and beautiful. Dewy. Glowing. As JLo did. Yes. That is, continues to, continues to this day. Then it's care. the group date. Yes. Kareen, um, Lips Dev Eater, and. Christina. And Raven. Yeah. Go on a date. Also on a boat. Uh, also on a boat. A lot of boats because there's just not not a lot of land. There's a sunscreen application. Which well, lasts first too they long. get dressed in a way where it's just like, okay, I guess I'll just take off my blouse. Like, and let's be real, it's overcast. Yeah. Ugh. So the picture's painted. They're swimming with sharks. We all know sharks are friendly at this point. We've all seen shark water at this point. Rest mm. in peace. And I feel like it's like okay, yeah, the threat is there. Oh, before I go into this group date, I want to say. The women are all on their period, right? Like, it's confirmed. <laughs> They've all synced at this point. You I mean, think. I it's assume... been multiple islands. Bimini by Bimini. You by think. Bimini, you'd think. <laughs> like Christina goes all the way there. She's like, but sharks like blood. Kareen has mentioned that she had cramps on camera. She's that feeling was a bloated. Scene. Yeah, that's real. She's thrilling. bloated. She is hurting. Yeah. Corrine's emotions were skyrocketed. Anyways, they go on this date. They swim with sharks. For like um, a hot second. Christina jumps out. She's like, oh, I'm scared. It literally feels like they swam for a second. And to be honest, <sighs> same. I feel like I'm fine without seeing the sharks. You know what? I think I would really would. nasty plunge into yeah, it. Yeah, right. Raven gets the rose they... and they get the one-on-one -on -one concert on the beach with the known singer that From we Bimini. all know. From Bimini. Bimini's fave. Bimini's fan favorite. Nick is well-versed in all of his music. And, and a single of Bimini classic. And we've downloaded him on iTunes and like we'll sing you his next hit single next Bimini. week when he's huge on the charts. Yep. It's called Bimini. <laughs> Neonatal nurse Whitney. She, they go on a basketball date where they ride with bikes. With the children ride bikes. It's and very Taylor see, Swift. Oh, they happen upon this group of children playing b ball on the street. Bimini streets. boys playing b ball. Bimini boppity boo, just <laughs> playing basketball on the goddamn For streets. Sure. <laughs> and then Nick pretends he plays basketball, and she pretends that she likes anything. Yeah, oh, chemistry. her story of her fiance dying because he overdosed, and she had no idea that he was even into alcohol or drugs is chilling. Chilling. Yeah. I want to say concerning about who she is, um, but the, her I don't want to be observational skills. Just about her just being awake, mentally yeah. present, and here in the now. I don't know if she is. She has a dark relationship past. Yeah. And in that sense, I do feel for her. But and I understand why she was like so closed off and like not really speaking and just kind so of being like. Yeah. But Nick was like, listen, I can't say enough to you. Like we never stopped talking. And mm. she's like, all right, like I'm feeling it. And he's like. I feel this connection with you, like, you and I are crazy in the same way, like, oh, the, like, stars have aligned. She's like, you know what? I have been closed off, I'm so guarded, but I actually am opening up, like, I want you to meet my family, like, you can come to the, my cabin up north, we're both from Wisconsin or Wyoming. Who cares? Mm. And he's like, you know what? I hear what you're saying now that you're open to loving me, and I actually don't think we have anything to talk about. Yeah, there's that rug. <laughs> Don't think we have anything to talk about. Zero chemistry, and it's probably better off if you go. I actually don't think that they would get along well in marriage till death. No, I part. agree. You that can break up said, with someone without like building them up first and yeah. like giving them this false sense of security before being like, "But I don't see myself with you." Tough to watch. Yeah. And she left, and too she was real. like, "I guess I'm gonna get my things." Yeah. Bawling her eyes out, and he so was crying to the too. Other girls. It was hard. It was hard to watch. And you she... cried a lot this episode. Yeah. Like well, I know we always we... appreciate a man who cries, but. Today was a lot. Now I just, like, I want you to be confident for fucking once. Okay? Like, yeah, in anything. In, in anything at all. Oh, actually, okay, so Kareen is drunk, okay? She puts on her Kylie she and she decides Tosses to... Tosses on Louboutins that are up and above where she can walk in. She can't walk in heels. For someone who runs a multi-million dollar, this is my dad's company business with her nanny, I expect her to walk in a pair of lubes. Mm. Yeah. She's just like... Mm. Plodding along. So unsure. She's like, yeah. like a wide <laughs> stance. Wide stance. Yeah. But I mean, I, a power stance. I'm no swan in heels, but it's like you're on television. At Try. least wear a kitten heel if you can't walk in lobes. Don't listen to her. Do not wear a kitten heel. Listen to me. Put on like Skechers, like shape At ups. At least wear some shape ups if you're gonna walk <laughs> strut to Come this on. room. Um. So yeah, I, I, it's clear that she has tossed a couple back, and I can't blame her. She visits him, she's like, I'm here for you, and he's like, physically, yes, and she's like, no, 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 like, let's have a drink. Have a drink in the room. She goes into the bedroom. And she's like, my legs and arms are wide open. 
Yeah, I don't know. It seemed like kind of fake to me though. Like yeah. the producers obviously set her up for it, but they were like, you're gonna get rejected. Like she wasn't that phased. Shout out to her for eating. 100%. She's always eating. She's Has eating a plate cheese. Of cheese. And she told us that she was eating cheese. Yeah. Um, I don't care that she was anxious. I feel like maybe it's good for the first time that you are uncertain. How are you even still here? You yeah. know what I mean? Like look around. You are the v capital V villain. Like that's. Yeah. And how, how weird is it how close the girls are, all are? Like, they'll have scenes where they're just like, Friends forever! And Bimini! Always will be there! Yeah. It's so weird how, like, in every shot, they're basically, like, necking each other and, like, yeah. our best friends. Like, they definitely spent all day, like, while they're sequestered in that house, taking, like, jumping pictures on the beach. Oh, for sure. So many Instagrams. They're like, they Elon, get another! I went into this date being like, Homegirl's the bachelorette, she doesn't give a shit if she gets voted off. But then again, thinking that this was her end. She had a cool confidence. So, You're right. Yeah, so basically they go to the same bar where they were with Neonatal Nurse because they like make out the whole time. Like she's talking about how fucked up it's gonna be that she's bringing a white boy home and he's just like. I wanted to listen out for like three more years. Me too. I, I was, was like, like what are the dynamics? Tell me about politics. I was like, literally, let's talk about this for six more hours. Like, it's like we just listened to a Korean be like self conscious for three years, and yeah. you're not gonna, you're gonna stumble over this. Yeah, for sure. Like, like blue what's your past. family like? How you're gonna bring a white boy home? But yeah. talk about this forever. So she comes back from the date, and then we're all just like, what happened to the dinner? Where is the dinner that they yeah. eat? And I was like, no, it's because there's a rose ceremony. Cut to, I thought he was gonna come in and get rid of Rachel. He goes straight to lipstick. Christina. Christina. And sends her home. Yeah. Okay. He sends but her home. Before doing that, cries more than she does breaking her the news. Yeah, like he is hardcore weeping. Obviously pathetic fal fals <laughs> pathetic <laughs> fallacy hits in. ABC can somehow afford thunder and like- Flies it in from Florida itself. It's so pretty. She seems very nice. She seems very real. I don't love her as a person. Don't want to hang out with her, Fair be enough. her friend. Of course not. But the girl ate lipstick. She's been through enough. At least come, marry her. Come on. And that was the end. That's all and that, that happened. that was the end. Was I exhausted by the end of it? Yes. Was the first hour completely boring? Yes. Did the last 10 minutes make up for it? Absolutely. Absolutely. And with that, we give you the three things that you should know. One, you have to subscribe. You know where- You I'm, have to subscribe. At this point, you have to. At this point, it's like, what do you have to lose? Yeah. I don't know what more subscribers will do. I know I say this every time, but I really mean it. I want to hammer that home. I don't know what more subscriptions will lead to. Do I feel prettier in the morning when I wake up because of it? Yes. Of course. Do I stand taller? I feel taller, at least. I'm growing. Yeah. Emotionally and physically, I'm Same. almost 5'3 at this point. That's huge for me. Completely. It just like gives me a little extra kick. A little oomst. Mm -hmm. A little hop in my step, a if you will. A little like, butterfly in my stomach. I'm like, ooh, what are my subscribers doing? <laughs> what are my subscribers doing right now? Yeah. That's what but I'm at the saying. same time, we're totally grounded. You know what I mean? Yeah. Completely down to earth. Like, I feel beautiful, but I know I'm garbage. But I know that at 500, we will remember you guys still. We'll remember you at the top. Each and every one. You know what? On that note, why don't we give a couple shout outs? Okay. The frequent commenters? 100%. I think we have to. We are doing this fun little idea that is. First um, time ever. I, will, I, I don't want to. Narcissistic? Self indulgent? Sure. Sure. But it's what people do with YouTube channels. So. If you don't mind. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. And on that note, shout out to Jessica O. Okay? She watches our videos. She comments her thoughts. Gives she nothing but love. I'm gonna give like a little shout out to Forest Deer. Mm. Always mm. commenting, always loving. By the paragraphs, which I appreciate. Same. And celebrating our hump of getting over 400 subscribers. Yes. A little shout out to Two Bros and Some Brick. It's They're in the trenches with us. They always show love. They're friends. They're family. Yeah. And away their foes. That's correct. As, as, I wanted I wanted to dip my toe into frenemy yeah. and keep it there. <laughs> keep it there. Seriously, Lauren Chaya Zahava, Zahava music. Okay. She's been with us since the first season. Episode one. She's been here for episode one. She's wonderful. She does nothing but support us. She gives us incredible insight. A lot of bees on the G's, a lot of boots on the ground, and like we love her it's for true. it. It's true. My last and final one is Dominique Ortiz. She yeah. has liked us on Facebook. She's also tried to add me on Facebook, which I politely declined because I thought it was a too much of an overstep. Too close into your home. Too close to my home. Yeah. In my personal space, but I am obsessed with her. I love her. I hope she watches us forever, and I hope she didn't hear that last part. 
every time I go out of my home, not even like drinking, someone, mothers, daughters, friends of friends, will ask me my thoughts on The Bachelor as if I really think about this on a Wednesday afternoon. You don't. I do. Me too. And that's on me. And on that note, <laughs> subscribe. Please subscribe. Always support us. And so let's try and, and let's try and get Nick to watch this because we need him to. If you know Nick or know someone who knows Nick, just email it. Or if Close you want, just Google. like slide into Alex Char Alexis Shark Girl's DMs and let her know that we exist. And that there's always a place on the couch for her. That's correct. And in our pools. And in our hearts. <laughs>